Hey y'all, so y'all asked me about this time and time again. So now here it is. A lot of people want to know how do I create um, glitter text? I, and like I always tell people, I use a bootleg, um, a bootleg Photoshop app on my computer. So what do I want to say? Okay. So it's called PaintShop Pro, which is this application right here. So I'm just going to show you how you can download it on your computer. So to download it on your computer for free, you're going to go to the website oldversion.com. Okay. So you're going to go to oldversion.com. You're going to scroll down under the graphics section. And number two, PaintShop Pro. I am using version eight because version 8 pretty much stays on your computer forever all of the other newer versions are just a trial it's like a trial period so you can only use it for like 30 days and then it expires but for some reason paint shop pro um number eight it stays on your computer forever okay so this is what I'm using. I download it I installed it on my computer it's completely free it stays on your computer now, the second thing you want to do is find a fancy font or something cute that you want your, you know, something cute or fancy for your logo. So where I go to get my fonts, I go to thefont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com, the font. And pretty much, I just go through the different fonts. And when you find a font that you like, you're just going to download, okay? Um, so, for the sake of this video, just for example, let's say I download High Destiny. So, I'm just going to download it. You're going to save it. You're going to open the folder. Because a lot of people download the fonts, but they don't really know how to get the fonts to show up on their computer. So here is High Destiny right here. It is locked. So we have to extract it. We have to unzip it. So right here at the top, I'm going to hit Extract. I'm going to hit Extract All. Uh, I'm going to hit Extract again right there at the bottom. And it's going to completely open up the file and allow it to be available for use. Right here, it looks like a piece of paper with an A on it. We're going to double click that. And now we are going to install this font on our computer. So you're going to hit install. Now, sometimes after installing, you have to restart your computer for the font to actually work. But that is pretty much how you um, download and install fonts on your computer. Um, they have so many different fonts, so many things you different things you can choose from right here you can actually preview your text so if i put in ebony um i want to see a hundred per page hit submit and then it's going to give me a preview of what ebony looks like in all of these different texts okay and whichever one you like just simply download it and install it onto your computer the second thing you need to do if you want to have a glitter text you need to actually find a glitter background or you know the glitter that you want to use so I'm just going to search um, glitter silver or something like that background right and then I'm gonna go to images so I can look at all of the images and then I'm just gonna select whichever one I like the most whichever one I feel looks the most like glitter um you're pretty much gonna pick it and save it to your computer so you're just gonna save the image to your computer it can be any color pink or glitter color that you want to use okay so those are the three things you want to get started with after you have um, paint shop pro on your computer after you have downloaded a font and after you have um downloaded or save a picture of glitter You are then going to open up your Paint Shop Pro, okay? Like I said, I'm using version 8. You are going to um, open up, you're going to browse the photos that you want to use. 
me i already know how to use this program so i know my browser is right here at the bottom and i can pick the photos that i want to use um if you don't know how to get to it you would just go to file and browse new folder okay and then you would like um click on a folder wherever you have your images saved mine is saved in downloads I don't know how to get to it from this area, but you will just click on whichever folder you want to open so that you can have access to your photos. So what you want to do, you want to open up your glitter. So this is my glitter. Um, this is a pretty big photo. I'm going to resize the photo. You don't have to. Um, to resize, you just go to image. And then you go all the way down to resize and you can resize it by a percentage. So I want to reduce it from being at 100% to let's say I can reduce it by 70% and voila, the image is a little smaller. So I resized it. Now to get the glitter text, this is what you have to do. Click on the A over here on the side and then you're going to right here where it says create as you want to make sure you click selection okay and then you're going to simply click anywhere over here on the glitter well you don't want to click anywhere kind of click off to the left side somewhere and then you're just going to pretty much type in your name or you know your business name whatever you want it to be as most of you know right now I want to choose the font that I just downloaded what was the oh, excuse me what was the name of it I forgot the name of it that fast um <laughs> hi destiny okay sorry y'all I'm yawning I'm just gonna find that font it might yep, there it is right there hi destiny i'm just going to click on the font that i downloaded the font that i want to use you can adjust the size right here of your font um, i can make it 72 if i wanted to make it greater than 72 i could just type in 100 call it a day okay but i'm gonna just put it back to 72 or whatever because that's what fits my whole well i'm gonna change it to 80 85 let's see what 85 looks like Hold on. 85 enter. Oh, snap it went 85 enter. No, not crazy. Okay. So let me go click off to the left a little bit more. Everything. Because you want to make sure all of the text can fit within the box. So if some of your text is cut off, you want to adjust the size. Or you want to cancel and click a little bit further to the left, okay? And all I'm going to do is hit apply. It does not matter what color your font is right now, how my font is black and it's out loud and pink. That does not matter because right over here, we click selection. So what it's going to do is going to keep... It's going to keep the outline of these letters, but it's going to highlight it in glitter. So this is how you get glitter text, okay? I'm just going to simply hit apply. And I don't know if y'all can see all these little dancing lines on here. That means that my glitter text is created, okay? So what you want to do now, you want to copy it. So the little dancing lines that you see, that means that it's highlighted. So we're going to copy. So you're going to go to edit. You're going to hit copy. Then you're going to go to edit and then you're going to hit paste and you are going to paste as a new um, a new selection. So paste as a new so uh, no, I, I lied to y'all. I need to paste as a new image. So my bad. Instead of push, instead of hitting paste as a new selection, we need to paste as a new image. And voila, there is my glitter text now the grid background that you see pretty much means that the background is transparent there is no background you just see the grid right now um if you wanted to change a background color what you would do you would go to file you would go to, to new um 
and you can change your background color from here or you can change it a different way. Me, typically, I just hit OK after I create a new image. OK, let's hit cancel. cancel. OK, um, and then I go over here to the paint. So right here and then I just simply fill in my color. If you want to change your color, you can come off over here to the side and you can choose whatever color you want um, around the circle, um, any colors over here in a box or whatever. You can choose any color and then you'll just come back over here and fill it in. Now, um, pretty much I copied this as a, remember we copied it and then we pasted it as a new image. You can keep it this way, but if you want it on a background like this, after you have copied it, so let's go back and copy this again. Copy. Um, and then go back over here and you can paste it as a new selection inside of this with this background. So I still have my um, my paint fill button on, on over here. So I'm just going to move it over here to like this little dragon looking arrow point. I ain't gonna jigger, don't know what to call it. Uh, I'm gonna hit edit and I'm going to paste as a new selection, okay? And voila, now you have your glitter text with a different background, okay? Um, it doesn't really show up well with that background, so I'm gonna paste it onto a, back, a black background, edit, paste as a new selection. It looks better with a black background, okay? But you guys can play around with like the background colors and all the other good stuff. Um, I'm just gonna crop it, zoom in a bit, and voila, that is my glitter, my glitter text, okay? Me, I like to step it up a notch. I like for my glitter text to really pop. So to get your glitter text to really pop, it's not often. It's not often. Um, I've been doing stuff like this for a long time, y'all, since before MySpace. Like, before MySpace. I've been doing stuff like this on the computer. So I just kind of play around with my stuff. Um, what am I doing? Okay. So right here with the transparent background, what I do to make it pop, I um, I go to adjust, I blur, I do a glazing blur. I don't know why I call it glazing. There's no L in the name, <laughs> but I've been calling it that forever. So I change this to about a four and boom, right? It's blur. Y'all see how it's blurred? Okay. So then I, I copy it. Um, I backspace to take it back to the original and then I paste as a new layer. Right? So now I have a layer. I have the blur on top of the original image right here is our layer toolbar. Um, if I'm losing y'all, if y'all lost right now, it's okay. Don't even do this step, okay? Or just take it slow. You might have to rewind and, and push play a few times. If I'm going too fast, but this is just something I like to play with. So right here with the layer, all I did was just move it from over here and I just dragged it, dragged it over so I can see. Okay. So right here where it says normal, we are going to change it. Okay. Typically I click on one of these over here. I think it's dodge that I like to click on, but I'm going to start with multiply. And you see how my font over here changed? If you hit the down arrow key, it will naturally go to the next selection, okay? So you see how it looks with strong? I'm going to hit my down arrow key on my laptop. That's what it looks like on dissolve. That's what it looks like on overlay. Hard light. Soft light. Difference. Dodge. Okay. This is the one I like to use, Dodge. Now you see how it's super bright? We don't want it that bright. So over here where it says 100, um, we're just gonna drag that down to make it to where it's not that bright, but still bright. So something like that, 
right? And then what I'm going to do over here, because you have your first layer and your second layer. So it, it's called a raster layer for something. I don't really know what that means. But what I do, I um, right click on it. I go down to merge and then I do flatten. Um, not flatten. I do, do I do flatten or do I do visible? Flatten. Merge all flatten. So it creates. Okay, see, that's not the one I do. Okay, I, I was right the first time. I do merge all visible. Okay, so now I created a regular image. And then now if I go to file, new, um, you're going to create a new background using black. Okay, and then now if I copy this and paste it, it pops more than how the original did and it kind of glows a little bit Let me move this back out the way so you see how this one pops now I'm gonna show you what the original looked like so you can compare so I'm just gonna back it on up on this one all right so this Drag it out the way. This is what the original looked like, and then this is what the final looked like. Okay, the final pops more, it's brighter. Okay, but that is pretty much how I create glitter text. I haven't made a tutorial on it only because I feel like it can be or it possibly is complicated. This is just a bootleg photoshop app so instead of having photoshop i use paint shop pro um it's self-taught something that i taught myself so i don't really know all of the technical um terms i don't know the terminology of half the stuff i'm using in this program because it's self-taught and i taught myself at such an early age it just comes naturally for me to do um so i've been holding off for making a video even though a lot of people request it because it's not easy it's not like using canva it's not like it, I don't know. I, I just use so, it's so many different moving parts. Like you have to download the program. You have to download the font. You have to download the image. Then you have to come on here. Then you have to know how to actually use this program. So this is why I haven't really uploaded a video because I don't feel like it's beginner friendly. But you guys keep asking. So I figured why not? Why not show them? Because you never know. Like somebody might actually be able to keep up with it and know how to do it so this is how i create my glitter text um for my logos i make all of my logos myself let me see if i can pull up some most of my logos are just text logos let's see you see how i did the glitter text in here And how my glitter text always pop. Let's see. Let's see. So yeah. That is all. 